planned to make this video for a couple of days. I was thinking about it over the weekend and uh, I was going to actually show you on the right over there, you can see, on the left, sorry, you can see um, the piece that I was working on specifically to cut up for the piece on the right here. So I was actually going to cut it up in front of you because I know there's a couple of you think, oh no, I don't cut that and it doesn't, I just wanted to cut it in front of you to just demonstrate that it doesn't bleed. Um, so... I'm going to do that in a minute and then I'm going to just kind of take you through when I pin it to the main piece and that's it really and you got a video yesterday but that was a, an unexpected video, it was an essential video for the situation and that debate rumbles on by the way and you know at the end of the day it's all silk and I love it all so we, we can each do with it what we wish and uh, Call it what we wish. Don't think the uh, silk police will arrest us for being slightly confused over which is which. So I'm just going to turn off um, and get myself near the table to actually cut a piece of that off to attach to the main cloth. I'm going to stay at this kind of um, area for now and pull the camera in shortly. But just to say, what I do, this is my cloth in progress, okay? Um, and I look at areas where I need to add more of the pieces I create for cutting up. So I'm looking, I've got like a, not a straight piece here, like kind of like a V triangle thing going on here. And I've also, up here, got something perhaps. But for some reason, and it's just about personal motivation and personal, where the journey takes you on a personal level. I want to put something here today. Um... So I'm going to try and gauge from the piece I made to cut up what kind of size I should cut up from there. So I'm thinking, and I'll play for a little while and I just put it, perhaps overlay it and have a look how it would look. And if I've got anything like mirrors, I don't want them to be hidden under the piece that's already constructed. So I do move around quite a bit and sometimes it can be hard to avoid getting mirrors and things hidden but that piece there that area there looks like it would work there because I'm not going to be hiding anything crucial there and I don't necessarily want it to be cut in a straight line either because that would mean cutting through certain sections sorry you can't see I don't want it to be cut in a straight line because if I was to cut in a straight line across there I'd be cutting through those wraps and that open area so I don't want that so what I'm going to do is leave it like this just check my positioning and tuck it under a little bit. Check my positioning and then cut a section across here somehow. So I'll leave it there while I do the cutting. So I'll just move it round so I'm at the right angle for cutting. And I don't want to lose anything. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. Okay. And I'm not going to worry that it's not straight and I'm not going to worry that this edge might be hanging free because I know that I can remedy that with whatever I add to it next. So I'm just going to go here. And at the end of the day, I mean I've been doing this a long time, not this particular piece, but I've been embroidering for a long time as I'm sure a lot of you have. I know a lot of you have. Um, and you kind of get a confidence that this is cloth and you're a person this is an inanimate object so it will fit it's not like a precisely measured patchwork piece this is a free piece of embroidery and it will fit i'll make it fit because that's an inanimate object and i'm a person so i can make it fit so this is a piece i've still got so you know i can continue adding to this when i finish this section but i'm just going to put that to one side this was damp stretched by the way last night so then i'll turn it back this way and I'll get a pin and I do I pin it first now I've got lace on the edge here and I don't want the lace to be stitched down I want the lace to be quite free so that it's like an overlap so I won't pin the lace to the cloth so that when I come to tack this and stitch it that lace is still free and I'm pulling it from underneath because I don't want to lose anything surface wise hidden underneath so I'm just manipulating it as I go okay now that's kind of made it like that because I've pinned there that's kind of thrown it out of kilter but what I'm going to do is I pleat it There's nothing, it's your work, you can pleat it 
So that will fit in there because I've kind of half folded it. So I'm going to pin that there and then I'll bring this, I'll just unravel that muslin from there because I'll trim that off later. And I'll just bring it over and fold it slightly just to put a little kind of pleat in there. Just to manipulate it around these areas where it needs to curve slightly. Okay. And then you can see it behind this open area. So that's going to have to be remedied. I can't leave that like that. <coughs> because, <coughs> excuse me, that open area is there for a reason. And I don't want all this going on behind it. So what I will do before I finally stitch it all into place is trim that off from the back. But here, in order to manipulate it properly around this section, I'm going to cut this excess scrim off here. And then I don't have too much excess unnecessary fabric hindering what I'm doing with my pins. So just gently cut it off. No hacking, you know, take my time so I don't spoil anything here. Just cut across there. And that should make that a lot easier to fit in over here now. So that piece, I'm going to fold that over again to pleat it again put it there and then just pin it okay so that's that section and if you think well that's really bumpy and it's sticking up and it, you know it's not that doesn't matter if you look all over this cloth there's areas like that doesn't matter I think it's part of what I love about it I like that it's very highly textured with the uneven surface and the surface texture I've added so what I would do now um, is just go away and tack this down and then embroider it okay and I made a decision here in some of these seams I've put lace and I made a decision not to put lace in this one okay but I will probably put lace in the next one over here so I just wanted to show you the process of what I'm thinking when I'm doing that and looking at it um, how is this going to evolve how am I going to finish this what's it going to be like when it's finished well, I'm seeing it coming down like this. So my next piece will probably come down there and that could be that piece to straighten up that side with lace in the seams. Okay, so you know, it will come together, it will form into something of kind of a uniform shape, but I'm not bothered about square corners on this or perfectly straight edges. It's just something beautiful that I'm making for myself. So that's how I would do that process.